the immunologic stimulation we think is critical to allow the body to control the virus that's already there. So the person already has virus in the body hiding out in nerve cells and we know that the immune system attempts to control the virus uh, but in fact in many cases it's not very effective <clears throat> and the virus still manages to grow. So we, what we've been able to do is identify a way in which the body's immune system, specifically the cell, cellular immune system, the T-cells, uh, can be stimulated to increase their effectiveness in blocking replication of the virus and, and allowing the body to, to control it better. There are always concerns when you try to manipulate the, the immune system. <clears throat> and so one of the things that we are doing in the context of this study is trying to make sure that we don't cause harm in other ways. For example, um, it's always concerning when you stimulate the immune system that you might trigger some type of autoimmune response where you, the, the body responds uh, against itself. So we are testing specifically for these kinds of responses so far in the studies that have been conducted <clears throat> to date with, granted, smaller numbers of individuals. We've yet to see any of these kinds of responses, but it is something that we are that we're vigilant for and concerned about.